we can talk about boxing, we talk about titles, your legacy, money, all that kind of stuff. But if there's one thing I know that means more to you than any of that, it's family. Why is family so important to you? If it weren't for them, trust me, I wouldn't be here. Why not? Because they do, literally, I'm a baby, they do everything for me. <laughs> from, from, from... Well, what about when it? you were younger and you said, I want to be a boxer, and a lot of parents would be saying, no, I'll, no, yeah. no, no son of mine's going yeah. to be getting in a boxing ring. My mum and dad made me do it. They was pushing me towards it, because I was so naughty and mischievous at school, when I didn't like school. They need to push me into something else, and, and boxing was the one. Now, I've, had, I've had one job in my life, because boxing's been my life. One job, and I was a plumber for about nine months. I was an apprentice proper plumber, but that didn't last. I ended up getting sat from there, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy. You won the gold medal for Great Britain in 2008 in Beijing. I went to Beijing, 80 to one underdog. When I first, in my first fight, I was nervous. I wasn't confident to win the medal, and uh, yeah, I was scared. I was scared. I was feared. It was fear like so, uh, and and it brought out and it brought out the best of me, and I come back from the biggest show on earth with that big shiny gold medal. So uh, that, was, that was a dream, that was a dream come true. Yeah. And yeah, I, and I turned professional. Well, I was a young, immature boy. I wasn't even a man, I was a boy. Everyone said uh, I was no good. I was still, I was still like an amateur. Uh, he won't be a world champion, he won't make it. They say, James DeGale, very arrogant guy, and I say, I know James DeGale a little bit. He's actually not an arrogant guy at all. Are you misunderstood, do you think? Your public I think so, persona? a little bit, yeah. A lot of people say that. And I did used to run my mouth a bit. Used to be a bit disrespectful. And I figured out, listen, sometimes it don't work that way. You shouldn't really do it that way. So I humbled myself and I let my boxing do a talking in the ring. And now and then do a little bit of trash talking because Olympic, Olympic champion, then won a world title. So, we're talking about a guy who's won amateur titles, Olympic gold medals, British title, Commonwealth title, European title, world title. Just sometimes it feels like, it feels like I don't get the recognition and the credit, but it's slowly coming, and uh, all I've got to do is keep on proving people wrong. All I can say is, go get another one. Thank you, Wicked. Look Thank after you, yourself. Thank you, Nick. Thanks a lot. Thank you, bro.